Breaking Lakers news, LeBron James eyeing $80 million contract extension. Hey Lakers fans, before we dive into this exciting news, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our channel for all the latest Lakers updates. As the NBA offseason heats up, LeBron James is facing a crucial decision regarding his future with the Los Angeles Lakers. He has until June 29th to exercise his $51.4 million player option for the 2024-25 season or explore signing a new contract with the Lakers or another team. According to ESPN's Bobby Marks, there's speculation that LeBron could ink a two-year, $80 million deal with the Lakers, which includes a player option and a no-trade clause. This move could potentially give the Lakers financial flexibility while ensuring LeBron's commitment to the team. However, what happens if James' next contract starts at $40 million, $10 million less than the maximum he could earn in the first year? Such a discount would keep the Lakers well below the luxury tax apron, even if D'Angelo Russell opts into his $18.9 million contract or accepts less in a new deal. Marx wrote in his June 17th column exploring contract predictions. LeBron James may seek a no-trade clause in his contract, giving him the option to end his career in Los Angeles or demand a trade if things don't work out with the Lakers. Only 10 players in NBA history have had no-trade clauses in their contracts. According to The Athletic, James previously negotiated a no-trade clause with the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2016, showcasing his desire for stability and control over his career path. Despite turning 39, LeBron continues to defy age with remarkable performances. This past season, he averaged 25.7 points, 7.3 rebounds, and 8.3 assists per game, shooting a career-best 41% from beyond the arc. The Lakers, led by general manager Rob Palinka, are focused on building a competitive roster around LeBron. Palinka recently expressed the team's willingness to make trades for the right players if the opportunity arises, as reported by Jovan Buha of The Athletic. We're not afraid to use future assets right now. It's just using future assets for now in the right way and the right deal. Polinka stated, with three tradable first-round picks, the Lakers have the flexibility to make significant moves this offseason, potentially bolstering their lineup and convincing LeBron to stay in Los Angeles for the long haul. What are your thoughts, Lakers Nation? Do you believe LeBron should sign the speculated $80 million extension? Drop your comments below and let's discuss. Stay tuned to our channel for more updates as we approach the NBA offseason. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for all the latest Lakers news news and rumors.